Mr. Penguin, I have a question. Did you have a difficult lecture? Not so difficult, but I felt like the teacher told us a lie. What kind of lecture did you have? The lecture was about an AC circuit. When you analyze an AC circuit, it'll be complicated, if you use trigonometric functions as it is. So, you should transform the trigonometric functions, into complex numbers. And then you can easily solve, this kind of differential equation, regarding an AC circuit, by using the complex numbers like this. Oh, time is almost up. See you next week. The lecture was something like that. Why did you feel that Mr. Owl told you a lie? Well, if it were really okay to transform trigonometric functions into complex numbers, I could calculate electric power very easily, but the calculation would be wrong. Will you explain it a little more? Sure. First off, let me show you the character of multiplication of complex numbers. I prepared two complex numbers. If I multiply the two complex numbers with each other, the answer will be this red complex number. Right. If you multiply two complex numbers with each other, the length of the result will be the multiplication of both of the lengths, and the angle will be the addition of both of the angles. How are you going to apply the character of multiplication of complex numbers to find electric power? This is how to find electric power, right? Let me make use of complex numbers, to find the electric power. This complex number is the current. and. This is the voltage. If I make use of the character of multiplication of complex numbers, the electric power will be this red complex number. However, I know that the electric power I found right now is absolutely wrong. That's why I'm confused. I sometimes can apply complex numbers to calculations in an AC circuit but I sometimes cannot. Would you please look at this? Both of the calculations make use of multiplication of complex numbers. Mr. Owl said that the calculation of the right side is okay. However, as I have already told you, the calculation of the left side is absolutely wrong. When is it possible to transform trigonometric functions into complex numbers? Okay. Your question has become clear to me. I'll answer the question. Firstly, let's think about the reason, why we can make use of complex numbers, in an AC circuit. Do you sometimes need to calculate this addition? That's when I need to add two currents. Can you calculate it? I think I can. Mr. Owl told us that it's okay if we make use of complex numbers, to calculate that kind of addition. Here is the calculation. Thank you, and the result of the calculation is correct. But can you tell me the reason why you can calculate the addition like that? What I meant is, why can you use complex numbers, even though the calculation is about trigonometric functions? Well, actually I have no idea. I just made use of complex numbers, as Mr. Owl told us. Ha ha ha. Okay. 
I'll tell you the reason. Let me put the result of the addition, on the right side of the screen first. We are going to compare it with something, after I calculate the addition, without using complex numbers at all. Then you'll realize the reason why you can make use of complex numbers. Please take a look at the screen for about 10 seconds. Did you realize something? Yeah. The result of your calculation without using complex numbers, exactly matches the result of my calculation, which is found by using complex numbers. Did you understand the reason why you can make use of complex numbers, in calculation of trigonometric functions? Yes. The calculation of trigonometric functions acts like, the calculation of complex numbers. That's why we can transform trigonometric functions into complex numbers. However, I still haven't understood the reason why we can make use of complex numbers in solving a differential equation. Actually, we cannot always make use of complex numbers in solving a differential equation. Only when we solve a differential equation regarding an AC circuit, complex numbers will become useful. What? Can you explain it a little more? Of course. I'll try to solve a differential equation regarding an AC circuit, without using complex numbers. So, please take a look at the calculation a little. Do you realize something? An addition of trigonometric functions appeared. Well noticed. Do you remember that we can make use of complex numbers, when we add trigonometric functions? Yes. Let me make use of complex numbers, in the calculation. Is this correct? Thank you, it's correct. The result of the addition, is the red complex number right? And according to, this equation, the red complex number you found equals V sine omega t. Wow. The differential equation looks like, it has changed into just a complex numbers equation. Exactly. The equation has changed into just a complex numbers equation. Then, if you'd like to know the current, you can easily find it like this. Thank you. I feel like I understand the reason why we can make use of complex numbers when we solve this kind differential equation. The key point is this expression. An addition of trigonometric functions appeared, so, we can make use of complex numbers. Right. Now you know the reason why you cannot make use of complex numbers, when you calculate, electric power, right? Yes. We cannot make use of complex numbers, because there is no addition of trigonometric functions, in the expression. When I analyze an AC circuit, I need to remember, this relation between trigonometric functions and complex numbers. In other words, you can make use of complex numbers, when you do, linear calculations, in trigonometric functions. I understand. Thank you.